guys what's up welcome to today's video thank you ever so much for choosing one of my videos i really, really hope you enjoy it today we're doing like this pastel-y pinky soft and delicate there you go makeup look so yeah if you want to see how we got to this final moment then please stay tuned we're gonna go in like with my pastels today because i really want to do something to match my new earrings they're just i'm feeling inspired go in with the beauty bay pastels palette this one here it's got these like gorgeous pastel colors um i haven't used it a whole lot this palette let's just see what we can come up with today i've already done my base this is a tart brush just a, like a fluffy brush and let's go in with this euphoria shade this pinky purple here and i'm just going to burn that in the crease and bring it out so it's going to be obviously very faint some of the color because it is pastels but we can make something super pretty i feel like working with pastels is like pretty unique compared to working with obviously like you know full-on pigment pigment because normally that's sort of what you do but i don't know i like it okay so when you're kind of looking like that let's go in with a slightly smaller brush smells just been on the other end and been again and we're going to use this dark well this lilac -y purple in the shade daydream this one here and i'm just going to pop that on the outer corner on the lid and then we can blend it out in a minute i'm just going to bring that onto the lid a little I blend it out with the cloud free shade this blue and get that back on the same fluffy brush we used and we're just going to blend this into the crease with that purple. I kind of want to bring some pink into it. So go in with this Spectrum B07 brush and this Lovesick shade, the pink. And we're going to blend this on the outer edges of the purple we initially put down. So let's blend this out. Ooh, it's a little more challenging working with a palette like this because it's just like so different, but can be a lot of fun. Let's pop this pinky shade for that lash line as well and then some of this blue shade, the cloud free shade just on the outer corner. Pink I wonder is going with this glitter I haven't used yet, this is the Stargazer Glitter Shaker in Pastel, perfect name. I want to run this Beauty Bay Living My Best Light, this is the old packaging, in the shade Opal, put that over and then put the glitter on top, um, so then it's like a little bit of a base and a little bit of more of colour underneath. We're just going to go for it and let's see how it ends up looking. So let's go and pop some of this on. I'm not going to cut the crease or anything, we're literally just going to put this on the lid and then put the glitter on. Flat brush, pop the glitter on. Looking like that. Oh, I feel like that looks really pretty. Okay, this glitter is stunning. I'm going to put some more of the eye base on because I think I want to put the glitter like all over. Okay, so that is how we're looking, honestly. I love it. Um, I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and just dust off any glitter that's fallen. I'm not going to pop any eyeliner on. I'm going to use like a heart stamp. So this is the QIC Kill Black Double Eyeliner. It's got eyeliner on one end and heart stamp on the other. The one there. Oh, I love my heart stamp. It just makes me happy. I'm going to curl my lashes and then we can go ahead and do mascara. My usual mascara, my Iconic London triple threat mascara i still want bold lashes even if my eyes are like more subtle i'm the only one who thinks their makeup just does not look right until they put the mascara on i could do a full face and i still feel like it's not finished until my mascara is on let's go ahead and do powder products if you want soft eyes i think i want to do like a light bronzer do this one this is the makeup revolution bronzer reload in the shade holiday romance it's just softer on the skin more glowy for highlighter, we're going to do, if you saw my video, then you know that I'm trying to use this one up. This is a Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter, and mine is in the shade up number one Afterglow, and it's super, super pretty. This sort of brush here, I'm going to pop some on my cheeks, and then I think we're going to go in with a powder as well. To grab that, we're going to go in with this brush instead. This is the Expert Face Brush, from Tony's 200, I'm not sure, this one. We're going to go in with this one, and I'm basically just going to blend this out. So honestly, it's so stunning. I don't know why I've stopped using it. I'm so glad I've like, you know, went through my collection and was like, no, use it. Up here, just like a tiny bit, tiny bit on my nose. I'm just going to use this to highlight all my usual places. And for the inner corner and the brow bone, we're going to go in with the uh, Technic Get Gorgeous Highlight Powder. 
this one here i'm not sure what what um, particular shade it's in but it's fine i'm just gonna go in and this is one that like i'm not 100 sure about so i'm just gonna like test out just to see how i feel and if i find that i'm just i'm not a fan by the end of the year then i'm not a fan i'm just gonna pop the tiniest bit on top of that highlight liquid highlighter just because we always need more highlighter yes oh we've got blush i'm an idiot i know there's something i forgot i was like mm, what is it all blush i'm gonna go with my bh chocolate cherry truffle palette i don't know how long we're gonna be able to use bh cosmetics for because if they're going for filing for bankruptcy who knows so let's just try and get some decent videos i'm gonna go in with this pinky one this lighter shade i don't know what it's called because it doesn't say um and then just go in with this brush and i'm just gonna pop some on my cheeks i'm just gonna bring it up like here the tiniest bit kind of like blush draping kind of just doing it because i want to do it and then the tiniest bit on my nose i don't know i just feel with pastels i want to do like i don't know cute makeup and because i want more glow i'm gonna go with my milani rosa romantica blush as well you don't have to do this this is literally just me because i want all of a sudden to be super blushy and glowy yes I was going for like romantic vibes, but now I'm just doing more like kawaii kind of thing. But I'm loving it. I use my pure lip mist, just it's like pastel y and it goes with it. So I'm just gonna do this and then, yeah, we're going to lips. Okay, this is all lips we're gonna go with one I haven't used before. It's one my partner bought me uh, recently and I really wanna try it out. It's Tropic Miss Me Quick lipstick in the shade Fresh Fig. And oh my god, how stunning is that? It's stunning, so I'm gonna pop this on. Oh, oh, it tastes nice, like watermelony, but not because I don't like watermelon. But this tastes nice, like perfumey and sweets and watermelon. Super creamy. Well, that's really nourishing on the lips as well. Goodness, yes. Okay, this is today's finished look. I really, really love how it turned out. If you enjoyed today's video, then please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you know when I next upload. For now, take care of yourselves, my little stars. Wear all of the glitter you can find and gems. Just slap it on your face. Feel fabulous. Um, and I shall see you next time. Bye.